Fantasy Football Fix have the best FPL tools to help you win your mini leagues this season, as you can track the world's best managers live with the Consensus XI, which is a combination of managers posting up 80 top 10k finishers teams averaged out into one squad, which you can track every single week. You also get instant team change notifications before each game week, so you can stay up to date with your squad. So get started free now with the link fantasyfootballfix.com. Hello FPL managers and welcome back for another video. Today we're going to look over the best Gabriel Jesus replacements as his injury concerns recently will rule him out for the first few games of the new season. So we're going to go over some good forward options to replace him. If you guys are new to the channel or are looking forward to the start of the new FPL season, leave a like and subscribe. As always, have those notification bells turned on as there's going to be plenty more FPL videos coming your guys way shortly. And with that being said, let's jump into the video. So here are currently my three favorite Gabriel Jesus replacement options. Christopher Nkunku recently has picked up an injury concern to his knee. It is a bit unsure of whether he's going to be back for game week one. He is a doubt for game week one though. Hopefully if he is back, I think he is going to be the best replacement for Gabriel Jesus. He's had an excellent preseason with Chelsea. He's looking really threatening and Chelsea's fixtures, especially from game week three onwards, look really, really good. Nkunku's stats last year in the uh, Bundesliga were extremely strong as well and that is why he is currently the third highest owned forward in FPL with a 21.6% ownership. I wouldn't be surprised if he is fit for game week one that this overtakes Gabriel Jesus who should be out for the first couple, at least, uh, game weeks of this season. Look at Nkunku's numbers in the Bundesliga. Really, really good underlying stats. Uh, put up 16 goals and 4 assists, which did rank amongst the top players for score involvements in the Bundesliga last season. His XG of 16.29 was also the highest out of any player in the Bundesliga, so he knows how to put himself into good positions. Obviously, he's shown this in the Champions League as well, that he can pick up goals, so I think he will be a good Premier League striker. It is obviously hard for players is coming from another league to adjust to the Premier League, especially in a striker role. There's, uh, there's a lot of physicality in that position, but I think Nkunku has the uh, ability to be able to do well in a striker role for Chelsea, so I think he's going to be a really good option and should translate fairly well into the Premier League. Uh, Liverpool at home, game week one, though, isn't the easiest fixture. If you wanted to have him in your side for game week one, I still think it's a good idea. I think uh, Liverpool at home, not the worst from an attacking perspective. Liverpool, um, they weren't the best defensively last season, so you definitely could have Nkunku from game week one. Obviously, with this injury doubt, though, you could look to hold off him for the first couple of game weeks and then maybe look to bring him in game week three when Chelsea's fixtures do get a lot better. Obviously, depending on the length of that Jesus injury, if he's going to be out for longer than the first two to three weeks of the season, then Nkunku could be a really good option. A lot of managers are looking to go for three forwards as well, so you could still have Jesus and Nkunku from game week three forwards, but I think if uh, Nkunku is fit for game week one, he's going to be the best Jesus replacement, in my opinion. Looking at the second best one, though, it probably is Darwin Nunes. He was a player that a lot of people didn't really have their eye on coming into game week one, but after having an extremely good preseason so far, for Liverpool. He's been banging in the goals. He's got multiple goals throughout preseason, picked up assists as well, which is good to see for him. I think he could burst onto the scene as an excellent forward pick. A seven and a half million pounds. He's seen a massive price drop from last season. And I think he's going to be a lot better this year after having that season to adjust to the Premier League. Obviously, players coming from another league into the Premier League, it is a hard adjustment to make. Darwin Nunes obviously didn't help himself by not taking as many chances as he should have. As you can see, just scored the nine goals, but had a 12.39 expected goals. It just shows, though, that he's getting into good positions, and that is the main thing that you want to go for in terms of FPL options, especially forwards, is players that get chances, they put themselves in good positions, and they have good underlying numbers, because at the end of the day, you have to be in the right positions to score goals, and Darwin Nunes definitely knows how to do that. He's just got to add that more uh, clinical finish to his game, and I think he's going to be an extremely good scoring forward this season FPL. If he did score 12 goals like his XG was last season, he definitely would have been a lot higher amongst the forward uh, total points rankings last season. I think he can push up to be in the top two, top three highest scoring forwards this year if he can start taking his chances because at the end of the day, a striker for Liverpool is going to get so many chances across the season. 
There's really no reason why he can't rival Haaland and Kane for goals. If he just takes his chances, plays a full season, stays healthy, I think he's going to be really, really good. And after seeing how good he has been in preseason so far for Liverpool, and with Liverpool's pretty good fixtures to start the new year, I think he's an excellent option to go for. Also, if you don't have salary in your team and you want to capitalise on that Liverpool attack, I think Darwin Nunes is definitely Liverpool's next best midfield slash forward option in FPL. So by having Darwin Nunes in, it gives you a little bit of cover uh, in terms of cashing in on those Liverpool goals and assists that our seller may be getting. I think it gives you a little bit more protection there. If you don't have seller in, you can still capitalise on the Liverpool attacking threat. His XA also was pretty decent last year. Darwin Nunes created some pretty good chances for his teammates. Picked up five assists with over a five uh, expected assist figure. So not only does he get uh, good chances himself, he does create quality chances for his teammates. So for that reason, I do think if Nkunku is injured for game week one, Darwin Nunes is my favorite Jesus replacement. And it's actually currently the player that I do have in my team in that striker role in place of Gabby Jesus. I'd be interested to see what managers look to go for. Obviously, Darwin Nuno is not quite as popular as some of the other forwards on this list here in Nkunku and, and uh, Watkins. But I think his ownership could definitely rise quite a bit coming into the later stages before FPL does start in game week one. Uh, speaking of Watkins, he is the third forward replacement here. He's coming in at the same price as Jesus. Uh, Aston Villa, not with the easiest fixture game. Make one at Newcastle away is probably one of the harder fixtures between these three or uh, forward options. But nonetheless, Watkins was extremely good last season. Picked up 15 goals and 8 assists. Had one of the highest expected goals figures amongst forwards with 15.81. And he was fairly good at taking his chances. Picked up eight assists as well. That is another really good uh, thing with Ollie Watkins is that he's one of those forwards that does get quite a few assists across the year. Picked up eight assists last season and I'm sure he'll be looking to build on his 23 score involvements from last season. He just seems to go from strength to strength. Did extremely well under Uno Emery as Aston Villa's new manager. So I think uh, with him playing, a, having a full season of Emery as manager could be even better in terms of increasing his scoring output. Aston Villa, despite not having the best fixture game week one their fixtures do get quite a lot better after from game week two onwards so i think watkins could be a really good forward replacement as well obviously a little bit more certain than in kunku and nunez as he's shown in multiple previous seasons in the Premier League that he can consistently score a good amount of goals and consistently get good chances in the Aston Villa side. Also with Diaby in that Aston Villa attack, I think it's going to really help Watkins. He should get a lot more service from Diaby and it does give him an option to pass to as well to pick up even more assists this season. So I think that Aston Villa attack is going to be so much more exciting now with a couple of new signings in there and I really am looking forward to seeing what Ollie Watkins can produce. The other thing with him is that he does currently have the highest predicted points for Gamic 1 of nearly 4. Obviously, these three players here, all with fairly low predicted Gamic 1 points, mostly due to the fact that there is a bit of uncertainty around Nkunku and Nunes, plus their fixtures aren't the easiest either. But I think a lot of these, all, all three options here, their fixtures do get a lot better after Gamic 1. So all three are very, very good Jesus replacements. Currently, if I had to rank my favorite replacements, it would be number one in Kunku, assuming that he's back and healthy for game week one. If he isn't, then I'd probably be looking to go for Darwin Nunes at half a million pounds cheaper than Watkins. If Watkins was at the same price as Nunes, then maybe it would have made the decision a little bit more tougher. But since uh, Darwin Nunes is a half a mil cheaper, I'd probably be leaning towards him as my second favorite pick. And then Ollie Watkins just behind those two as another very good reliable option and a good goal source for Aston Villa. Thanks for watching today's best Jesus replacements for game week one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. I'd also be interested to hear what your Jesus replacement plans are going to be. Was it in your team initially? Who are you getting him out for? I'd be keen to see what managers are doing. As always, have those notification bells turned on so you don't miss any future FBR videos. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.